Bali is sometimes known by an affectionate nickname, the morning of the world. It feels sometimes that the WTO has been through a long, dark night. And I hope that perhaps here in Bali, we will once again see the morning of the world trade organization. Indonesian is very religious. Indonesian peoples very much believe there is a God, strengths and uh, determinations. We just ask that God bless to what we would like to do here in Bali. We do believe this is something that's going to be a great impact, not only for the Indonesians, but to humanity. Success here in Bali will demonstrate to the world and to ourselves that we are still capable of coming to agreement on matters critical to the global economy. Failure is not an option. We need a rules-based multilateral trading system that works for developed and developing countries alike. Members want a deal. Well, now is the time to deliver. The very essence of a country and the history and the civilization remains. Ours has been trading for the last at least five or six hundred years. In fact, since the spice route. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare Yemen open for business. We have uh, six and a half million companies that are members of our network around the world in 120 countries. And I must say over the last year, they've been mobilized because they understand uh, that the package has definite practical benefits for companies in trading. Um, trade facilitation is the prime example. And so they, they, can, they can look at that and say, uh, when you know, there are estimates that it would reduce my cost of doing business by 10 to 15 percent, this is suddenly you know, it's a gain which is tangible. It's a gain that's pragmatic and practical. So business people have actually stood up and said, you know, we've got to get this deal. Small and medium enterprises are playing a key role in the least developed countries, creating jobs and most of the production is done by SMEs. We think if, of course, some other barriers are removed by developed countries, then uh, SMEs from least developed countries can uh, take advantage of the global market. is that we have a package of extremely significant issues on the table. The bad news is that these are not fully agreed texts. If the ballot package does not go through, we will face a race of um, regional and bilateral trade agreements that have a danger to uh, exclude the least developed countries at all and also to put more barriers into trade and create um, secluded communities. And uh, this is a real danger. Um, because we need transparency and we need democratic support 
for the trade agreements in order for them to be accepted. Some countries say, if you give me this, I will give you that. And, and that's what's operating here. It's not that those things are conflictual, trade facilitation and agriculture and every other sector that might be uh, in, in question. It's simply that they become bargaining chips. Now, usually, <laughs> that the negotiators will come to their senses and say, we have to find some consensus, some landing ground that is a compromise between one place and the other, and everyone comes out with a win-win situation. In business, that's the way it happens most of the time. We would hope that in this negotiation, that's the way it would happen as well. When I said on Tuesday that I hoped we would see the morning of the World Trade Organization, I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> This time, the entire membership came together to negotiate. We have put the world back into the World Trade Organization. People all around the world will benefit from the package we have delivered here today. This package is not an end, it is a beginning. We have negotiated a package that will bring food security to billions of the world's poorest. We have delivered an agreement on trade facilitation that will inject up to a trillion dollars into the world economy. And we have agreed a groundbreaking suit of initiatives to help least developed countries benefit more from the multilateral trading system. I now propose that the ministerial conference adopt the ministerial declaration, the draft decision submitted by the general council and the full Bali package. It is so agreed. It always seems impossible until it's done.